Okay, it's T minus 45 minutes till the guests land, and uh, my sous chef has showed up looking like this. I... What is this for? <laughs> I gotta look at it. <laughs> uh, he's looking sharp, he's looking sharp. Alright, are we ready for guest pickup? Of course we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. Probably the most organized will be on trip, so uh, <laughs> please to <the> camera. <laughs> Entree is aglanotti. I can't say it, but you, I'm sure you know what I mean. With some, oh no, that's mac that's cheese. cheese. Delicata squash puree, and we've got a cavolo nero pesto, and some cute little red vein sorrel. Good morning. How are you? Good. Morning, Frankie. Morning, Chris. What time is it? It's 20 past six in the morning. You've, geez Louise, yeah. and you're pretty much all ready good to go. We are ready to rumble. You. outside. The guests are eating inside today, which is a new experience for them. Yeah. Hey, you want to show us your beautiful table? Yeah. Maybe these plates. Big fan of these plates, they're new. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Himi, eating inside. Eating inside. There's white carpet down there. <laughs> <laughs> Careful with the salsa. Careful with the salsa. <laughs> so, it is half an hour. Oh no, 25 minutes till lunch service. And we are set up Ready to go, it's a big one today, got lots going out. We've got tacos, salsa, queso fundido, steak fajitas, corn, um, and some cheese quesadillas for the kids. So, oh, corn scared me there. I just wanna show you guys this quickly. We have a vegetarian on this trip, so instead of doing a fish taco for her, I have crumbed an avocado. If you haven't tried this before, I'd say definitely give it a go. It's delicious, you can de you deep fry it, and then the avocado turns all creamy and warm. It's, a, it's fantastic, I really enjoy doing it. The thing I wanna show you is all my garnishes set up here. I've got these cute, tiny little key lime wedges.
so it is hella hot. Um, last night when I took dessert out to the gas, I was like, whew, it's hot. I wouldn't really feel like eating like dessert either. So I was thinking, what can I serve the guests? Um, obviously ice cream, sorbet, standard stuff. But I decided to do a watermelon granita. Really easy, juice the watermelon, strained it, put in some lime zest and lime juice, freeze it shallow in trays and rake it with a fork. Um, and then I'm gonna serve that with a Greek Wait. yogurt es spuma. Are we ready to go? Sorry. We're gonna go on dessert. <laughs> I need it now! This is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a nice easy dinner tonight. Um, I'm going Japanese and I'm gonna get the Conro out, which is our Japanese barbecue. Very special charcoal here. So I'm gonna get these guys lit up. I'm gonna be cooking chicken yakitori on the grill. Just chicken thighs, no uh, hearts or livers this time. Just, just chicken thighs. Look, the moral of the story here is just always use a cold chimney because it's way, way faster to use a cold chimney. started a carving wall yeah. between Nina and I. We yeah. can see who can do the best fruit carving. We've got some kids on this charter, so we're making breakfast a little bit more fun. And hey, we're having a great time. You were like loving it. I found my feng shui. You were like at peace. My rackies were alive. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to come and be like, that's not how they work. That's not how rackies work. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, I, I don't can't know. judge my uh, We're all ready for breakfast, aren't we? Pastries, sourdough. Just going to... Pop it out there for everyone to see. This sado is popping recently. I'm proud of it. Absolutely classic Caribbean weather. And this is why deck crew don't really like Caribbean. Well, for this reason. Um, you can see the rain coming in. You can, oh, I don't know if you can hear the wind. Just start to pick it up. And then I think Captain Paul usually sees it on the radio, on the radio, <laughs> radar, and lets everyone lets them know to cover up all the cushions and stuff. You can see they're prepared over here. Everything's covered up. Oh, there it is. It's starting to rain just now. Are you all covered up? Uh, I think we are. I hope we are. <laughs> I hope you're covered up. Find out very soon. <laughs> Here comes the rain. <laughs> Perfect timing. Now, Perfect. The, now the people want to go skiing as well. What? Oh my gosh, I need to go inside.
That is a nice fillet. Are you happy? I am so stoked. You get stoked. some fresh fish for crew. Yay! Fresh fish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Paul gave me a radio just now. He's like, oh, I found some fishermen over on Sabah Rock. Do you want them to come over? I was like, yes, absolutely. And they had mahi and wahoo. Uh, went with the mahi, biggest one they had. So they cut the sides off for us, which is very kind of them. Fresh fish. Pretty cool because the guests actually got to see the fishermen come in with a fish and it was a bit of a thing. The kids all touch it. <laughs> It's our last dinner service, chef. <laughs> Yay! Yes, it is, it is. Drop off day tomorrow. Ooh, pretty, pretty excited for these. Mac and cheese croquettes. I've gone Italian theme tonight. So it's two types of pastas, chicken, fish, salads, veg, and mac and cheese balls, because why not? I started something. I served mac and cheese balls like on the second day and they've requested a lot since then. Oh my god. Oh. Guys, it is four minutes past five in the morning. It's drop-off day. We have early guest departure. They're leaving the boat at like 7.38. So um, it's an early start for us, but it's okay because it's the last one. The final entry into the watermelon carving yeah. marathon that has been this charter. So, uh, why are we doing a hippo this morning? Because our charter guest wanted it and she is far four yes. somewhere there. She requested it. Yes. Oh. So we do. So we do. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> it is best. <laughs> and what have we named it, Moon? Frankie. Why have we named it Frankie? <laughs> Because when Franco shaved, he looked like a little baby hippo. Oh <laughs> well, I think we can call that a wrap on that charter. It was certainly a busy one because they ate every single meal on board, but it was also really fun. Having a family on board means things are a bit more relaxed. And of course, we get to carve watermelons, or rather, Sean does. That's it from me for now. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>